you know, man, so, oh my goodness. The, I would have to say Justin Herbert, rookie quarterback, threw four touchdowns throughout this whole game. Phenomenal, phenomenal performance, man. And, and it's kind of sad that I have to say that it was a phenomenal performance. But as you can see, the end result that we lost 27 to 30. Now, let's go back into this. Now, we was up 20 to 3. And now it just seems like we started to lose a lot of, like, games when it comes to just one possession. You know, it reminds me, you know, Phillip Rivers a little bit. But him, he will actually throw an interception now. Every time, you know, Justin Herbert goes under center, I mean, yeah, the offensive line kind of led up a little bit, but I really felt like, you know, we were poised. We were doing okay. You know, um, uh, Norsum, he was doing good. A lot of people were stepping up, man. Uh, the run game, you know, Anthony Lynn is going to establish that run game. He's a running back coach. I know people were saying, okay, why are you running like it's second and 20, 30? You know, it's okay to pass on first down. I understand that too, but I mean, it was actually some good, good passes. I mean, that one beautiful pass, it was like three man rush. And then uh, Justin Herbert utilized his legs and read that defense and he threw the ball to Keenan Allen. And Keenan Allen was able to grab that touchdown. That was so important, man. I was like, dang, man. And, one uh, one big throw, dude. I'm like to uh, Hunter Henry, man. Uh, Mike Williams was setting up uh, late in the game, man, for us to actually kick the field goal. And Michael Bagley, you call him Money Badger, but <laughs> uh, shout out to LA Original. He say he don't even deserve to have a nickname because you can't even make a 49 yard field goal. So when you can't make a 49 yard field goal, dude, I mean this is this is sad. He missed the PAT. Yeah, he made up for it when we uh, start scoring in other possessions. But I mean this is kind of unacceptable, man. So. Now they fall down to one and four on this particular moment. One and four. Uh, it's it's crazy, man. I, I don't know what it is, dude. Like, uh, Justin Herbert, that's my, that's my quarterback. I don't care what nobody say. I'm going to ride with him. I mean, this going to be, uh, yes, a rebuilding year. A lot of those rookies stepping, uh, stepping up. Joshua Kelly, he didn't fumble the ball. I appreciate him. Justin Jackson was looking okay. Um, I mean, Nacer Adderley, you got to understand. I, I, I remember that good play, man. Um, we forced, it was almost a pick six, man. He almost ran into the goal, uh, to the goal, goal line and almost broke the plane. So, Nacer Adderley, man, he got that. Um, interception from Drew Brees. I mean, we was pressuring Drew Brees, man. At the same time, though, um, you know, Joey Bosa doing good, pro time, bowl player. But I'm just sick of us underachieving, man, especially for L.A. and the L.A. Chargers fan. So, <sighs> stand up so late just watching this team, man, underperforming, man. It's sad. And I don't know what <laughs> – it's to the point. I mean, of course, I mean, I'm. A, I'll take my hat to him. I'm gonna keep playing. You know, I'm gonna keep supporting him. But man, this is sad. This is this has to stop, man. So, I mean, people wasn't really blowing up my phone about this whole situation thing. But man, with Justin Herbert, dude, like you got it. I know he like damn, man. But he want to play with us since he was nine years old. So I know that you know the morale in the locker room was good, man. But we just gotta get this stuff together, man. You up twenty to three, man. You got. I mean, I understand. Like, yeah, we. I'm not expecting a blowout. Cause I was like, okay, we up twenty to three and or twenty to ten in the first half. Okay, I mean it's not to get too excited about, but I was very pleased and uh, so excited how Justin Herbert was just so comfortable in that shotgun. I mean throwing the ball, doing really well, man. I mean just being, just keeping his composure, man. I mean this is something that we need. I was I was relaxed a little bit, but defense caught slacking a little bit, man. Um, uh, I'm Kamara. I mean, he made some good he made some good catches, man. I mean, I think we kept him on the team, but oh uh, man, I, I want to say this: it was a beautiful thing in the fourth quarter that we was marching up down the field, like 59 seconds left, and like I said, five seconds left, we was unable to nail that field goal, man. So uh, Michael Badley, man, you gotta hold this L, bro. I mean, I don't know this is team effort uh, when we got into overtime, because I noticed as soon as we got into overtime, it you know we was not it was we wasn't gonna have the advantage. I mean. It's just the odds in our favor is not good, man, especially in overtime, bro. And I look at this too, like, you know, KJ Hill, I can't get mad at him. I mean, the ball was, I mean, the ball was kind of overthrown. I wasn't overthrown. It was like thrown behind him. So, I mean, he wasn't in any good position to catch the ball. But I look at Mike Williams, who was showing up. He threw a bomb to Mike Williams, bro. I mean, dang, I'm like, whoa, like Tyrone Johnson, like, these people was balling, bro. We was so balling. I'm like, damn, we might gonna go two and three, bro, and finally beat the, you know, Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints. But unfortunately, we didn't do it. And so now we got to go back into the coaching staff. What is the X factor for us to close out games? Is it the coaching? <laughs> it's, we got the talent. Is it the coaching? If we can't finish, you know, are we starting to be like the no offense to my, you should know, to my people in in Atlanta. But are we like the Atlanta Falcons? Are we like the people that that do really good? You know, half ass. You know, first, second quarter, and then we try to play catch up in the fourth quarter because we didn't score nothing in the third quarter. But 
um i what i have to say is uh, i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go on that amazon i'm gonna spend that 300 dollars autograph, autograph sign <coughs> uh edition uh justin herbert jersey i'm definitely gonna go ahead and do that so this is something that um it's reasonable so but that's all we have to say kind of upset so this is your boy young lean jr guys turn your like comment subscribe share this video and i'm out deuces